get their breath of where there's probably set of meat records there, but we'll get that officially soon because they had a stand and set off 3.43. Uh, we've got the Amersfoort winner here tonight, Lauren Bruce. She's already done an Olympic qualifier earlier this year, and she also broke the meat record, I think, in her last round out there in the hill with over 71 metres. So that means that prize pool's divided into three at least, and it could be a little bit less. Soon, Lauren, tell us how that went tonight. It was not the easiest competition. There was a few hammer delays, getting the hammers out of the nets and things. Yeah, I started off at 68, so wasn't that happy with that, and didn't, I struggled to build on it a little bit through the rounds. But yeah, happy to finish with 71. It's another comp for me over 70. I think it's my eighth or ninth one now. So yeah, happy with that. Yeah, so from this time last year, when you did throw well here behind the winner Julia Ratcliffe, and. Uh, You've broken her record tonight as she's bypassed this meet in preparation for the Nationals. I think it was the before the last showdown. Um, what's your plans? Just freshen up now for Nationals and Yeah, we'll get back into it come Monday and um, I've got a weekend off next weekend because I'm not after Auckland, there's no hammer and at Sir Gra uh, Graham Douglas. And yeah, we'll be back into it for Nationals. So I'm looking forward to getting back out there with Julia and seeing what we can do. Well, it's a great effort and particularly great to have the possibility of two women's hammer throwers going off to represent New Zealand Olympic, at the Olympics. That's unprecedented, so congratulations on your progression over the last year and your Olympic qualifier earlier in the season and tonight's victory and meet record, which at least is going to get you somewhere around about $1,000 extra. Oh, thank you very much.